Hey guys, it is haul time. I wanted to just show you a little bit of what I got these past few weeks um, for our school supplies slash um, home office supplies and things of that nature. So let's start for the dollar store. For the dollar store, I got this really cool recycle bin just to put on our desk so that, you know, when we have little papers, wrappers, and things of that nature, instead of getting up and going to the trash can, which is not really that far from the desk, um, this just saves time. Thought it was cute, you know, yeah. Also, we got lots of stickers from the dollar store. I get different types of stickers, not only to put on my son's paperwork, who's in the sixth grade, and also my toddler's paperwork. We also use stickers for um, our toddler learning exercises. She loves to peel off the stickers, put them into any kind of notebook, and you know, take it off the notebook and transfer it from one place to another. So that is great for dexterity and working of the fingers. So here we are with some stickers, more stickers. And then I got these two little paddle whiteboards from the dollar store as well. And I thought this was really cute because when we're doing quizzes or we're just doing activities, um, and it's dry erase by the way, my son can just write the answer on one or two paddles. I actually got three, but one is broken so we're going to go ahead and return that and just get another one so like i was saying he can just write the answer and you know put the answer up raising his hand rather or we can use buzzers and things of that nature so again we can use these dry erase paddle boards for games for quizzes for just anything while we're learning just to make it a little bit more fun and interactive. Let's move on to Wally World, Wally World, Walmart. So at Walmart, um, sometime during the summer, I forget which month, I want to say it was like May or June of 2019, this paper was on sale for 50 cents. Guys, when I told you I stacked up, I might have like 20 packs of um this specific paper. It's copy paper, but I don't use it to print, nor do I use it to copy because it's very, very thin. However, I just use it within our homeschools for, for drawing. So if we have an activity, if we're doing science, if we're doing a timeline, if we're doing anything, I just have them pull out this um, paper here and we'll do all of it on there. We could also use it for scrap paper if we're working at a problem or something. I also use it for my toddler. She colors on it. She draws on it. We do her activities for her numbers and letters on it. It is wonderful. This paper was so worth the buy. So although I have 20 packs, I'm going to be a hoarder. If I see another sale for, from Walmart for 50 cents, I'm going to get 20 more packs. Let's move on. So we love crayons, we love markers, we love pens, we love pencils. So you're going to see a lot of that, different types, okay? So here are some highlighter um, Sharpies here. The reason why I really like this, although it looks like it's going to be too dark, but we'll see. But the reason why I like this is because um, my son doesn't like taking off a top because... It gets lost. I don't know where these tops go, but tops to markers and tops to Sharpies and pens, they just seem to go missing in this house. So I found these retractable ones. So all he has to do is just click, click. It comes out, highlights, click, click, and puts it back in. So retractable, um, lifesaver. These Sharpies, permanent marker Sharpies, I love these. I like to grade in these or write comments in these or if I'm designing something or he's designing something, works great for that. First time trying this, erasable highlighter. So I haven't tried this yet. I saw it um, for like three or four dollars at Walmart, went ahead and got two packs because sometimes when my son is taking notes or highlighting in a book, as an example, um, he may highlight the wrong thing. So this here will allow him to erase it. So I've seen some videos on it and I think it may work. So I'm super excited about that. Of course, you have your 
washable markers. Definitely neat. This is if you have a toddler. And some of your normal colored pencils. We got some um, friskers. Scissors for the toddler here as she's learning to cut this year. We also have some tape. Just regular tape. And we love tape within our household because when we're doing lap booking or notebooking or doing a project, tape comes in handy. I also have another type of tape like magic tape that we also use if we are labeling things. Um, I could be labeling containers, labeling a notebook. If we're doing a project and we want to um, label something on you know, a lap book or something like that, rather than put it on the lap book itself, we'll write um, a title or write phrases or whatever on the magic tape. So this is regular tape, magic tape we use for those things I just mentioned. Here are just some storage boxes here so we can store um, crayons. So this is great on the go. We'll store crayons in these boxes and we'll throw them um, within our larger container, our travel container, when we are traveling or homeschooling on the go. My son, this is his calculator for this year. He has a really small calculator that we were using last year to double check work. But this year, as we are in pre-algebra, um, at towards the end of pre-algebra, he's going to do a little bit of graphing. And we're also going to do um, use this calculator for um, finance. Personal finance, very, very simple interest problems or tax problems or things like that. He'll do it by hand, but this will also show him how to use a calculator to calculate those things as well. So again, we have some post-it notes, your normal post-it notes. I have a plethora of that. We have some erasable colored pencils for who? The toddler. Anything for toddler in terms of markers, crayons, colored pencils, highlighters, they need to be washable or erasable, okay? So here we got some more washable markers for her. More washable markers. And this is your other um, washable markers here. This brand here is not that bad. I think this brand here um, fades faster, or not fades faster, but like, um, they dry out faster in my opinion, but they were only like 50 or 75 cents, maybe a dollar. So, hey, you can't go wrong with that. This here um, are highlighters. They're not erasable, but they are retractable. So I think this set here is actually going to work out better than this set because you can just see here how dark um, these are. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to... Amazon. Guys, this sharpener here is amazing. Amazing. And I'm going to put links to all these things, um, at least the ones from Amazon. The ones from you know Walmart and the dollar store, you can check those out. But for the things on Amazon, I will put them in the description box below. But guys, I've had so many sharpeners. This sharpener works great. It is fast. It's a bit loud. Um, but it's a sharpener, right? But it sharpens the pencils fast from pencils to colored pencils. Um, it doesn't allow for sharpening for your jumbo pencils, like the pencils that, you know, a toddler would use. That's too big. Okay. The big toddler thick pencils, but your normal traditional pencils and colored pencils, they work fabulous for, Okay. I also got a big thing of Expo whiteboard cleaner. We all need that if you have Expo, um, not Expo, but whiteboards. And let's start from here. I can't find <laughs> these pencils, nor can I find these um, pencils here, these mechanical pencils. So wood pencils, mechanical pencils. I can't find the pack. I don't know where my son put them. But what I do when I find something I like, I actually cut out the label and keep them in a little container, a little container like this, okay? So we used this and this last year, and we purchased a whole new pack this year. just can't locate them. But these are great. These Casemate um, wood pencils, excellent. And the Big Pencil Extra Strong. Excellent. with The extra strong lead. Okay. Excellent. I also got this here. This is a highlighter 
slash um, post-it note. So if I'm highlighting something and I need to, you know, put a post-it note so I don't forget where I am, I can just pull out the post-it note here and highlight. I normally take this on the go. This little pen, handy dandy pen highlighter, not pen, but highlighter post-it note thingy um, goes with me wherever I go if I'm on the go. I wish it had a pen, um, retractable retractable pen here. That would have been even better, but it doesn't, but it still works char um, great. Here's some more post-it notes here. Like I told you, I love post-it notes. I have a whole container full of post-it notes, okay? So post-it notes, sticky notes, sticky notes, unlined, lined sticky notes, and these types of sticky notes. I love this. This is kind of pricey. If you can find it uh, on a prime day on Amazon, or if you can find it as a um, um, flash sale on Amazon, it's excellent. I'm not sure how much it was, maybe two, three, four dollars, but it sticks um, for a very long time. The adhesive is awesome. I put this, if I'm doing Bible studying, if I am reading a book, that's what I use this for. It's not going anywhere, okay? So here we have this. This is for my son. If he's doing drawing of any sort, if we are labeling any activity that requires color, he normally uses stuff like this. These um, friction pens are excellent, okay? These can erase. I have two packs of these. I don't know where the other pack is. Oh, here it is. <laughs> there you go. Two packs. Two packs because they're that good. I give my son a pack and I keep a pack because with kids, I don't know where these um, school supplies go, but it's always lost. So I got a pack. He can't touch my pack and he has a pack. So again, it's erasable and it actually erases. It works, guys. This brand is awesome. Staple. This here, these are highlighters. I use these in our Bible. When we're doing Bible study, we use these types of things to highlight. Let me show you all the different things that we use to highlight. And they're all just as great. Okay, there's no, I have not found one to be better than the other. They're all great. So we use this to highlight within our Bible or within um, textbooks or within literature or actual books that we're reading. If I want him to highlight something, I'll have him highlight it. Um, but I'm going to start using that erasable highlighter for our literature because I want the books to be used for the next child. So hopefully it'll erase cleanly, okay? So here are some more highlighters. Again, they are not too dark. <clears throat> it's great for studying. If you want your student to highlight within the books that they're using, their curriculum, this is great. You can use that. When I print out documents um, for reading comprehension, many of times he has to highlight, but I print those things out to make them consumable. Or not print them out, I photocopy them to make them consumable. But if you have non-consumable um, curriculum or you are not going to photocopy, then you may or may not want to consider highlighting within that. But for us, if it's consumable, he highlights in it because I have another copy or I will get another copy for my children when they get to that age. Or um, I may just photocopy it and he'll highlight on the photocopy. Here are some more pens. Again, these are all... I'm going to say they are all just as great. I can't say one is better than the other. Midliner um, gives you more options in terms of color choices. Okay. And they are reasonably priced. Okay. This here highlights a bit dark. This does highlight a bit dark. I would not use this brand in my Bible, but I'll use it in on, you know, on anything else, this will be great for the Bible. So these two here, great for the Bible or thin paper. This here is just as great for thin paper. However, it's a little too dark, but they're all equally wonderful. Okay. Pencils. This pencil here, thebomb.com. So this pencil, this brand of pencils, and this brand of pencils is excellent. 
Guys, I'm big on <laughs> school supplies. So trust me when I tell you when I'm giving you uh, a recommendation for brands for pencils. As you can see, we have a lot of pencils here. And we went through one pack of pencil in three weeks. I don't know what my son and daughter are doing with these pencils, but the erasers are gone in that pack. It's like they're eating it. And the um, pencil itself is gone. They're always using this sharpener to just sharpen their pencils all day long because they like the way it's nice and sharp and pointy. My son especially. My daughter, I don't allow her to use super sharp pencils, so it has to be a bit dull because, hey, she just turned three. Okay. So, wonderful. This here we use this for drawing, for outlining, for labeling. Wonderful. I love these paper mate pens. I love these. I love these. I grade in these. I grade papers in using this. Um, this is my first year using this. I have not used this yet. It says it won't bleed through paper. So I'm just going to see what it feels like. It's a felt tip pen. So, you know, we'll try that out and see if I like it. Scented markers, two packs here, because this will go fast. So I also, you know, if I'm greeting something, I'll put a check mark or a happy face or whatever using markers. My son will use this to draw or to outline or to do projects or to do um, notebooking. Not really notebooking, but lap booking. These will bleed. If your paper is thin, if your paper is not thin, then of course it won't bleed. But we don't really um, use a lot of thin paper. And they smell so good. Mmm, that is great. Mmm, that smells like a passion fruit. Mmm, it smells so good. Mmm, that's banana. It smells so good. Oh my goodness, what is this? Mmm, this smells like strawberry or cherry. Not sure, but all I know it smells so good. So my the toddler definitely will not have access to these because she might just try to get high smelling these things. <laughs> but we love them. It smells so good. Mm. These will bleed. If your paper is thin, if your paper is not thin, then of course it won't bleed. But we don't really um, use a lot of thin paper within the home unless it's this pack here and with this pack here you know it doesn't matter because it was so cheap who cares if it bleeds through we'll just work it out it's normally used for projects and for my daughter like i said to draw and color and paste and to cut things and paste it on it and stuff like that okay let's keep moving on here did i show you everything so far okay we're still with amazon of course, you have your dry expo markers, dry expo markers. Yes, got two packs of that. All of our markers, we may have, I would say, five left from our two packs from last year that are still alive. We use a lot of these <laughs> expo markers, this thick version and also the thinner, the thinner expo markers. They're, they We take them on the go with us when we're um, trunk schooling or homeschooling on the go. When we are teaching at home, we use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Expo markers, hence why we have a huge um, gallon of the erase the um, whiteboard cleaner. This here, these are Expo markers, but these are mag magnetic Expo markers. These here work just fine. Um, we will take this on the go with us. So this just, they have mag magnets behind each top and they're double-sided as you can see and we'll just you know put it on a on a mini whiteboard and put it in our bin our travel bin if we are schooling on the go that was amazon here just random places all these um hand sanitizers got those from Mm, 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 mm. got those from where where did i get those from oh target got those from target got these scissors for my son um, from Target. These here got these from Michaels. They were on sale. So when I purchased this and all of these here, these are like 25 cents at um, Michaels. 25 cents each. 
And this here, I want to say with my 40% off everything coupon, I want to say uh, this, all these things here, all these Crayola brand items here were maybe about $3, maybe even $2. And some change so of course I couldn't let that go and I would have purchased a whole bunch more but there was nothing left so I took everything that was on the shelf so that's it guys that was my um, haul for this period of time if you like videos like this let me know and I'll keep posting more of them all right make it a great night